Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. I'm very fortunate living where I do. That is in western New York on the shores of Lake Erie because quite often there's incredible light over the lake. Yesterday morning I went out to the shore of Lake Erie and I found an incredible scene. There was incredible light with tons of different colors, lots of yellows and oranges, pinks, purples, and blues. Unfortunately, my camera in the raw file really didn't capture all those colors. It seems to be a lot of blue, right? Maybe a little purple. And I found it sometimes challenging in post-production trying to bring back those colors that were actually there in the scene. Well, there's some tools that are unique to Luminar AI which do help in this regard. And we're gonna talk about those tools in this video. Now, as far as this image that I took yesterday morning, all I've done to it so far is I did AI enhance and I did some light adjustments and that's it. You can see there's no dots next to anything else. I haven't done anything else to this image. Uh, but as I mentioned, there were a lot more colors here, uh, particularly some warm colors that just aren't being represented or being underrepresented. And that's where this color harmony tab helps. Now it's down here in the professional section. And I think a lot of people maybe skip over these tools, but there's some very powerful things here that will help you process an image. So let's open up this color harmony section and take a, a deeper look at it. Now, when you first open it up at the very top, you have two sliders, brilliance and warmth. Brilliance is really just vibrance. And I will prove it to you. What I did is before I started this video, I made two screenshots and one of them is the image with, in the color tab, vibrance turned up to plus 55. That's what it looks like. The next screenshot I took is the same image, of course, with brilliance in the color harmony tab turned up to 55. So you could see they're not identical, but they're very, very similar. You could see there's vibrance, there's brilliance, there's vibrance, there's brilliance. So very, very similar to one another. Uh, so I probably wouldn't even use that slider. I probably did it already when I was up there in light. Now, as far as warmth is concerned, that will make every pixel warmer if you move it to the right or every pixel cooler if you move it to the left. Now, to me, that's not a very powerful or um, intelligent slider. Um, maybe I do want to add a little more warmth, but I could do that with um, white balance as well. I don't need to use the warmth slider. So to me, these two sliders are probably more, more worthless, meaning I could do things with other sliders in um, Luminar AI and not even come down here to color harmony. But now it starts to get interesting. Let's open up color contrast. Now with color contrast, we have two sliders. And as I move the amount slider to the right, you're gonna see that it affects contrast. You can see the brighter parts are getting brighter and the darker parts are getting darker. But what it's also doing is it's taking complementary colors. In this case, it may be blue and yellow or maybe even blue and orange, depending if you're talking about secondary complementary colors or primary complementary colors. But it's, it's affecting those two colors and it's increasing the um, saturation of each of those colors, but it's also making the brighter of those colors, in this case, the yellows brighter and the other end, the blues darker. So that's how it's affecting contrast. And this hue is allowing you to uh, specify exactly which kind of complementary pairs you want to affect. Now there's no like, you know, it, it would be better in my opinion if it could say, you know, blues and yellows or reds and greens or something like that. Instead, you just move the slider around and you find kind of a happy spot. And then you move the amount slider around. You could see how it's kind of an odd adjustment. Uh, it's unique to uh, Luminar AI or Luminar in general. And it's something that may help in some instances with some uh, scenes. In this case, with this scene, it really doesn't. So we'll move on. Split color warmth. 
This is one of my favorite uh, tools in Luminar AI. With it, you could make the warmer tones either warmer or cooler, or the cooler tones, independently of those warmer tones, warmer or cooler. So it's a little more powerful than the warmth slider, which will take every single pixel warmer when you move it to the right, or every single pixel cooler when you move it to the left. With this, you could just stay with the warmer tones. So these tones in here, in the clouds, if I move it to the right, I'm making those warmer. You can see how it's not affecting the blue in the frozen ice or the blue of the sky. If I move that to the left, I'm making those warmer tones cooler. And it's not affecting the cool tones that are already there. This slider below it, the cool slider, will affect those cool tones. If I move it to the right, it's making those cool tones warmer. But it's not affecting the warm tones. If I move it to left, it's making the cool tones even cooler. So this is, to me, pretty powerful. And with this instance, there was a lot more yellow and orange down in here when I was there yesterday morning. So I moved that to the right. So it's starting to bring back some of that color that is missing. Now, below that is color balance. And to me, uh, this one I don't use. Uh, this, if you're familiar with Photoshop, there's a similar adjustment layer in Photoshop called color balance, which does pretty much the same thing. First of all, you could affect uh, complementary color pairs. These are secondary complementary pairs, red, green, and blue, uh, complemented to cyan, magenta, and yellow. So it's RGB and CMY. So you could go in, let's say for just the shadows at the dropdown, I could make the red cyan mix in here either more towards red or more towards cyan. The green magenta mix more towards green or more towards cyan, or I'm sorry, magenta. And the yellow blue mix more towards blue or more towards yellow. In this case here, maybe a little bit more towards yellow might work. I don't know, but we'll undo that. But you could do that independently uh, between the shadows, midtones, and highlights. And I think with midtones, if I make those just a little more yellow, that's pretty much what I was seeing there. Now, as I mentioned, I don't use that. Uh, adjustment too often, but I think it works uh, pretty well here. So you get an idea how this color harmony has a lot of tools in it that are really unique to Luminar. And because it's down here in the professional tab, I think maybe a lot of people just ignore it. They don't mess around with it, but it's something you might want to consider. What I suggest you do is skip the first two because the warmth one you could do with white balance, brilliance you could do with vibrance. Um, go down to the others and play around with them, see what you got. Then when you're done, if you want to add some vibrance and you don't feel like going up to the light or to the color tab to do it, you could do it right here with the, oops, not with warmth. You could do it right here with brilliance. Um, but it's up to you. But check that out, Color Harmony. Again, I think there's some powerful tools in there that will help you better process your images. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.